I'll say this first. That's a hell of a banger. Corny? Corny? What is corny about that? I, I don't even understand that cl that climax. Like, the the energy shards, they go full screen if they touch you. If they if they touch you, you get hit? What the fuck was that? But, like I said, I'm, I'm glad this character's back for sure. Looks like most of the normals are intact still, too. Uh... This is all the standard fanfare, kind of. Was it Crouch C, Stand D, Standing Little, uh, Low Looking Kick? CD, Jump CD, mm, Weird Lack of Voice Acting? Okay. So you see EX Fireball 2, what else? Ball Super. That's Stand D in this D Super, right? Maybe see this. This. You know what this implies, right? How many of y'all don't know anything about the, this character or KOF? Sans Kulot is one of Ash's supers. Where so this is a, a charge character, right? You see, like uh, uh, the thing is unlike the Guile, Charlie, Remy kind of like uh archetype. He has more moves. So it's like um, you have the what Fireball, Flash Kick, that's standard. Remy has, I guess, kind of like the Dive Kick too. But Ash also has a standard, a standing fireball that they can put out. So you can choose where you want to place it on the screen. So for example, you can knock them down and then puff the fireball. It'll stay there and they have to wake up into it while you try to go for a mix up. There's also the dash, the, the weird dash move that he has. He has a few more moves, right? But fundamentally, he's a charge character, right? Flash kick is up down. Fireball is left right. There's also the, the dash that is uh, left right to kick, right? All the moves are charged? No, most of them. Three out of four. This super is an install, right? So it has a hit that pops them up. But what it does is it makes it to where you don't have to charge any of the charge moves. You can just hit back forward. You tap back forward and punch, he'll do a fireball. You tap up down and kick, he'll do flash kick. You tap back forward kick, he'll do the dash. I just wonder with the KOF 15 cancel system, with KOF 13 cancel system, it was, uh, it turned into a really fun kind of character. This character was super hard. Maybe one of the hardest, probably one of the hardest execution-wise to play in the game. Because doing that kind of stuff is very taxing. It's not, it's not easy at all. Here's a, an example of kind of what I'm talking about. This is a, a classic clip, not whatever this uh, shitty mobile game is. I guess we gotta watch it. What the fuck? You know, okay. Classic KOL. Classic KOL. You gotta say that so you trigger all the old hits. They get mad. They, for some reason, old KOL players hate, love to hate this game. So keep your eye on the Ash player. That's Sans Kulot act activation, right? So it's situational, but you can use that super as an anti-air. Because the initial activation has that hit that pops them up right, like that, right? If you get them to the corner like this, now remember, you no longer have to charge those specials. And you can cancel the hits because of the uh, drive system in this game, too. So you end up doing shit like this. It's very hard, very fast. He pops and does anti-air, carry to the wall. So for reference, this is just the first part, but I'll, I'll kind of walk you through it. So in this situation, he gets like, fuck me. So he's doing flash kick, he cancels it in the back heavy, and then into the charge kick, but you don't have to charge for it, right? So you can do it just right after. Fireball. Fireball canceling the flash kick, canceling the back D, does the charge move again. Whiff cancels that, in the fireball, into another fireball. Or, no, that's, e that's probably uh, EX Fireball. Or he Heavy Punch Fireball, because the initial hit hit. Fireball, Charge Buffer. So remember, that the Super now has expired, right? 
So he's no longer an install? So what he did just there? Think about this. So he's... So since the install has expired, he has to switch mid-combo. You have to, as a player, you have to be able to switch mid-combo to do this. this. This is one of the stupidest combos ever. You activate your in-install, so now you just have to tap your charge moves, right? It just taps. It expires. The combo is still going, so now he has to switch to charge motion. He does fireball, immediately is charge buffering for the next fireball, takes a micro step forward, fireball again. Very hard to do. That's how he does this double fireball, and then he gets uh, the heavy punch version, right? Yeah, the execution for this game is crazy. And this is probably one of the hardest characters to play, I think. To maximize, I would say. You can pick him up. That's the thing, though. It's like, don't be intimidated by that kind of thing. This is the kind of character where you could hop in and you could play him just like Guile, and you could probably uh, have some, you know, moderate success. He gets really, when you talk about like optimization and maximizing, he becomes very difficult execution wise. Fif and again, 15 is not going to be like this. You know, you shouldn't expect that. But just, I'm just giving you some uh, like reference into the. Oh, I forgot about that move. The uh, the up thing runs up, double signs Kulot again. Now he's back in the no charge mode. So watch, flash kick, cancel in the back, heavy kick, dash. Yes, this combo is insane. Walk up, fireball. <laughs> All that swag. <laughs> All that style. All that style and where did it get you? It never gets old. That's some KOF 13 shit though. I get, if you can't talk about it too mad, or the old heads will get upset. This character's back. This is a character I really enjoyed in that game specifically. He's really fun to play. But this super uh, that they show off in this trailer implies that it's back. It's a red super too, so it means it costs two bars? I wonder how it's going to work in this game. DX fireball. Classic 2B, 2B, 2B. Into what? Back B? Back B in the flash kick. What is that climax? Doesn't it look so weird? Like, why did, why did they blow back like that into the, like, weird flame? I don't know. It's, it looks weird. But, uh, fuck it. I'm about it. They put him in. I, that's an easy auto pick for me. So, what is that? Is that a new move? Where he teleports forward and does the upswing like that? That's some Psyche shit, isn't it? Am I tripping? That's a Psyche move, isn't it? Yeah, Psyche used to have the... That's Psyche's... Not his DP, but uh, he, it's his up fireball, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they gave Ash some of... What if they gave him some of other, Psyche's other moves? So we haven't seen him do that dashing lunge attack like you saw in the, in the 13 clip I showed, right? I wonder if they gave him this instead? Either way, uh, it didn't really matter for me, dude. I was playing this character regardless. I don't know. I'm curious. I I, I don't know enough, I guess, uh, about the the system mechanics theory yet, but it's fun to think about. Hmm. His nails actually look amazing. Damn, bro, we watched the whole trailer. You 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 were mesmerized of all the effects and all the things in the trailer. You were mesmerized by that man's nails. I must admit, he does look fabulous. <laughs> 